The parliament must be people's parliament. Listen to the voice of the people. Listen to the yearnings of the people, not the voice of the party or the voice of the parties, as the case may be. You know, I'm one of those who have said, look, Nigeria must come to terms that, look, as a giant of Africa, we must show that really we're a giant of Africa. And one of the ways we must show we're a giant of Africa is to show transparency in our electoral system. And people have come out to say, look, the most, one of the things we must show we are, we are transparent is that there must be electronic transmission of resource for people to have confidence to reduce the hijacking of ballot papers and ballot boxes. So when you go and hijack, it makes no sense because results must be transmitted electronically, right? So you see, and that will also save lives of people. But when people go and read the election and hijack material, people want to fight back. And in fighting back, one person or other people may lose their life, which is not necessary. At this stage, in our democracy, Nigeria must be noted for something that we have moved from one state to the next stage, and which is that we have abandoned the manual way of declaring results and to do electronically transmitted results, which is an advantage to us. So if the two chambers, by the two joint committees, have recommended to the two to the board chamber to say, look, we have to allow electronically transmitted results. I think it's a work on development. I think it is good for our democracy. I think we must commend them. When you do the right thing, we we'll commend you. When you do the right, the, the wrong one, say no, you've not done the, the, the right thing. It's not a personal thing. It's not that you don't like the National Assembly. But that when we will see any bill that anti the people, anti the country, it is for you to say, look, gentlemen, this is anti the people, this is anti the country, we should not allow that. And if they have come to terms with that, we must commend them and urge them at their plenary to look, to allow the recommendation by the Joint Committee of the both chambers to allow results to be transmitted electronically. That it will give confidence to people that, hey, now I can go and vote. And when I vote, my vote will be counted. Unlike before, some people say, what am I voting for? At the end of the day, when I go and vote, the results will not be declared. They will go and write the results. But this now may not, may not be the case again. It will reduce that. And you can see that politicians will now sit up to say, listen, if you don't do well, now that results will transmit electronically, no way for rigging. Only those who support rigging are against results to be transmitted electronically. If any politician wants his sort, believes that he or she has done well for him or his people or her people, you will know that that politician will not be afraid to say, whichever way you want to transmit the result, I'm available for it. I'm available. But I want it to be transparent. I want confidence for people to have confidence on the electoral system to help INEC so that nobody will go to attack INEC officials. Because this attitude of going to attack INEC officials is because people believe that INEC is compromising with people to hijack electoral materials. But if this is no longer there, you will see that nobody will go and attack INEC. Because they will not look, whatever you do, if you go and hijack materials, at the end of the day, it will not work. Because that area will cancel. The result will not be transmitted electronically. So what are you killing yourself for? I commend the Joint Committee of Board Chambers of the National Assembly for listening, listen to the views, the yearnings of Nigerians and for the growth of Nigerian democracy. We should commend them and I thank them so much. And if you continue to act that way, you will see that this country will be better off. Thank you.